Welcome to iPads in Schools. Today we're looking at the app Explain Everything. Um, wonderful app, probably my fav favourite app at the moment because you can use it in any key learning area. Um, fantastic for students that struggle with um, literacy, basic writing and reading skills because it has that ability to record your audio and the students thinking. So here it is, Explain Everything. Now one of the First things that we do as a class is down the bottom right hand corner there is a little house and that goes back to our gallery page. It shows all the work, all the different documents that uh, that are on, explain everything. So I think that's always a good habit to get into. Uh, first thing we're going to do is create a new project. Top left hand corner, the plus sign we know is the sign on the iPad for creating a new document. In this case we're going to create a new blank document. Now you'll see down the bottom left hand corner it's got slide one of one. So it's a little bit similar to Keynote in regard to it's a slide setup. And so at the top left hand corner of our page you'll see a little uh, document with a green plus sign. We're going to press that um, about five times and create five slides. You'll see down the bottom there that we can now go to slide one or slide two and so on. So let's start on slide one. Um, the first thing that's worth looking at is the pencil tool on the left hand column. So if I actually hold that down with my finger, it gives me an option of uh, different colours, different pen thickness and also transparency. Um, so today we're just going to select uh, maybe the green colour and then I'm just going to tap on my page to get rid of that. Um, one of the things that's fantastic in this is that we can bring in pictures either straight from uh, the camera roll or we can actually take a picture within the app itself. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to press, you can see the A, the A is a text tool, uh, below that is a picture little icon and when I press that it says well, what do we want to do? Do we want to insert a picture from the photo roll or do we want to take a picture of itself? Um, what do we actually want to do? So in this case we're going to take a picture straight from the camera. So when I click that it opens up my camera I'll just turn it around and I'll take a quick picture of myself and I'll press use. Now when that happens you can see that it's got a picture of myself here and I can press on crop at the top and I can actually crop a certain area. So I might just grab my head area and then press crop again and it crops it for me and I press done and when I press done it brings in the picture of myself I can move it around and I can flip it and put it on the side and do a range of different things here so you might have students going outside for a maths class and taking photos of different two-dimensional shapes for example um, there's a range of different things that you can do so now I'm going to press on my pen tool on the left here and I'm going to do some anecdotes. So I'm going to point to different things. Um, I can point to here. I can circle little areas here. The app does exactly what it is titled. It says explain everything and that's what this app does so well. So we've had preps right through to year six using this app. Incredibly effective in the areas, areas of mathematics and science, a range of different things. Um, we can also press on the A. Now the A tool is the text tool. So I press on A and then I tap on my screen once and it brings up, here is Paul. And what I can then do is move that around and I can touch the tick to actually position it there and I can move that around. Now. One of the brilliant things with Explain Everything is the recording down the bottom. So I can press record and I can also add um, a verbal or an oral uh, anecdote about what this is about. So if I press that, you can see the little um, timer going. This is Paul. Um, I'm about to do my project on life cycles. And I press stop. So it gives that audio dimension. and I'll press stop and it gives an audio dimension to our presentation. So if we were doing this on our Mac laptops or some other uh, PC um, technology, we'd probably need three or four types of software to actually do this one activity. So with Explain Everything, it's all incorporated, it's all integrated in the one app, very effective.
To get rid of something, I simply press the plus. You can see the plus on the left-hand side here. I tap on something and you can see it wiggles, does a bit of a wiggle, and I press the cross and it gets rid of it. So very easy to delete um, and add content. Um, so that's slide one. I might then start to focus on some of my content areas. I can go to slide two, create a new audio, new text, new images, a range of different things. To bring in a picture from our photo roll, we follow the same procedure, but instead of camera, we go to photo roll and we can bring in different pictures of different things. We can crop, still, press crop, press done, and bring that in. So we could also use this in art too. I've created a little art piece there in Procreate. We can do a range of different things here and then anecdote and write notes and so on. So this is part one of Explain Everything tutorial. Um, there's lots more that we can do in this, um, but one of the final things I like to do with the students is next to the house at the bottom right hand corner, there is a folder with a down arrow. I always like to actually name my project here. I'm going to call this Paul Assignment and press save and I will press home and you can see that my project pull assignment is um, has been saved and uh, ready to be opened again and edited. In all my dealings with Explain Everything, if you follow these procedures and you educate the students about saving and working on the same iPad, it's very, very difficult to lose work. Um, and that's another reason why iPads in schools can be so successful. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. Paul Hamilton here signing off. Once again, um, I hope this has been beneficial for your teaching and learning in the classroom and I will conduct a part two explain everything tutorial uh, in a little while.